Dyson Daniels has been one of the more under the radar defenders in the NBA. Recently traded to the Atlanta Hawks, he is going to be a key player in the Hawks' young and revamped defense. Dyson's foot speed, length, size are all remarkable, tagging that along with his quick hands, recovery skills, and being able to absorb contact, Dyson may be one of the best perimeter defenders in just two seasons in the NBA. At 6'8", 200 pounds with a 6'10 wingspan, Dyson has pretty good physical tools and last season he would be tasked with covering some high level players in the league and showcasing his pesky defense. If Dyson is defending you, you better be on guard and not be lazy because Dyson is good at ripping the ball away from an unsuspecting offensive player. He gives heavy off ball denials and can pick off entry passes, handoff passes, inbound passes. He is always on high alert and times very well when to go in for a deflection or a steal, sometimes even starting his pressure in the backcourt. You'll see he gets a ton of deflections and steals just on ball as the offense is setting up. He doesn't even have to give heavy pressure, he's just actively reading the movements of the offensive player and reading where a pass may go to and the anticipation mixed with his quick hands allows him to stand out in this area. He simply takes advantage to the fullest of a relaxed offense, makes it tough for a guard to really set up the offense and being extremely cautious around him. He positions himself well in help active hands, very alert, high awareness. And you see that on display here as he takes full advantage of an unaware offensive player. One of the best times to double a player is when they put the ball down and are already attacking. He doesn't give the offensive player much time to locate the open man. Dyson notices right when Sabonis puts the ball down going into that spin move that's when he swoops in from the corner and picks him loose. He doesn't get called for fouls often as he averaged 1.4 steals a game and averaged 2.8 deflections a game. Seeing his tape, Dyson defends in an upward stance. He doesn't really get low than his opponent, but his balance and quick lateral movement helps him continuously stay in front of players. He's also much more springy and moves fluidly with this stance. He doesn't get beat off the dribble much and he does a good job staying grounded and with the offensive player. On this possession, we see he starts in that upward stance, but just notice how swiftly he is able to move his hips, mirroring Powell here and staying in front. He turns his body at first and even gambles for a steal. This should slow down his momentum, but boom, able to just turn his body quickly and forces Powell middle into help. And as Powell changes directions again, going right, quick movements by Dyson, and he gets one hell of a contest on this shot. Here against Cade Cunningham, Cade has a good angle here to drive against Dyson who is in that upward stance with his feet squared. This is where the lateral movement comes into play with Dyson. See how he uses his right foot to cross over his left foot. It's a pretty quick and aggressive move that allows his upper body to stay squared to the ball handler instead of opening up his hips and allowing Cade to just keep him at his side. Dyson is able to take away the driving angle, wall up against Cade, and force him into a tough shot. See here he utilizes the same tactic when moving his feet, crossing his left foot over his right. His body is able to stay square to Clarkson, not fully opening his body and giving a pathway to the rim pressures and beats Clarkson to a spot and forces him into a tough shot. You'll oftentimes see Dyson execute this tactic against drives and it does help him effectively stay in front of guys consistently. It's just impressive watching him because he doesn't get beat off the dribble much, constantly beating players to a spot, walling up and giving strong contests. Dyson also has the ability to take bumps and hits and stay solid. He isn't extremely strong, a solid frame and can take contact. Bigger players like the LeBrons or when switched on centers, he can hold his own but he does get bumped out of position at times. Dyson Daniels at 21 years old is very promising as a defensive player 
but his biggest shortcomings is on offense, as he doesn't provide much on that end. He's a solid passer and good connective passer, keeping the ball moving, but he doesn't provide much shot creation to really highlight more of that passing skill. In Atlanta, I believe his offense is really going to have to be dictated on how good that jumper from deep is, how well he operates in transition, and how he operates as a cutter. He does showcase promise with a straight line drive floater. Dyson's defense is the biggest draw with him, a unique ability to generate deflections and steals without heavy pressure and great footwork when defending on ball which limits blowbys. He's best suited to defend guards and forwards, bigger forwards and bigs can move him but he still shows resilience and recovery skills that makes him a big time plus defender.